this was really, you know, like I, was, I must have been, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, you know, reading, reading comic books, right? Uh, on the back of a comic book, I saw an ad, and on the top of it, and I've met people who have seen the same ad, on the top of it it said, record your voice. So I asked my folks if I could buy one. I said, sure. So we, I wrote away for that. And what I got was a 78 disc with blank grooves and a, a, a group of maybe a half a dozen, must have been about five inches in diameter, maybe four inches in diameter, cardboard discs, flat cardboard with looked like a lacquer coating but it was I don't know what it was paper so the grooves were created by the 78 blank groove disc that you had and you would record for about maybe a minute and you could actually play it back and listen to it and I remember actually what I did is I took this thing put it near the radio turned the radio real loud and, and I did a recording off the radio of music that was the first recording I ever made my first air check <laughs> they used to call them air checks I'm Joey DeFrancesco. My name is Billy Hart. I'm Peter Bernstein. Houston person. I started coming to Rudy's when I was 18 years old. And, you know, every time you pull up to the building, as soon as you see it, you get goosebumps, man. The hair, it's a spiritual experience. It's hard to put in words because this is a, a place that, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a holy place for, 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 for music, especially jazz music. This is my home as far as studios concerned. I've been coming here for 40 years. I've enjoyed every moment of it and learned a lot. Maybe it was 64. It looks almost the same. I heard Houston say it, and I heard Peter say it too. You, you really feel at home here. with all these musicians in here, no drummer. And Rudy said, well, you know, J Billy Hart lives just close by. And I, I just lit up, because I love Billy Hart. Jimmy Smith was, uh, was a genius. You know, I, I guess in those days, you could have uh, guys, more guys that were geniuses. I mean, because uh, you, you didn't have a lot of music schools. Right, so these guys had to learn on their own. And uh, except for somebody like Joey, it's almost like it's only been Jimmy. They gave me a couple of choices. I said, well, I'll definitely get Houston first. He's funky, he's got that sound I want. And whenever we get together, we just have a good time laughing and playing. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be leaning on you. Oh man, you got it. Put a lot of stuff together, and uh, I've enjoyed every moment of it. And it's just nice to have all that sound behind you. I like it. I like it. Yeah. This is the place where all the organ records, or many of the organ records, were made, and so many of my guitar heroes, like Wes Montgomery, Grant Green, Kenny Burrell, that, that played with those organ players. A lot of it was was done here. So just to be in this in this place where those sounds were made, and to be around this actual instrument that was the instrument, the organ that was used, uh, it, it's really special. It fills up every tiny space in the room. Right. The sound of the organ does, and it goes into the control room too. But something about recording the organ is really important. What Rudy did, and and you know, so and me being a, an organist is very special, you know. And I feel he's in here. His spirit's in this room. I felt it right away. It's a spiritual experience. The sound of the music, it's like it's in the walls. Now I can see. I see why. You know, all those cold train records that we had you on. Know, I mean, you can, you can see why. I mean, it's, it wasn't any kind of a struggle to play here. If anything, I, I needed to play a little louder. 
we're going to all be in the room and we're going to get to all enjoy the wonderful acoustics of this room and we're going to get to have some real serious fun because that's what jazz is all about. Energy in this room that just makes you want to you know, play your best and, and you know, for me it's like what happened here you know, shaped my life. You can see a photo of, of Rudy you know, just, and I kept looking over between tapes. It was really like he was joking with me. We were talking to each other. You know? He was that close to a lot of us. It's warm memories, very warm, you know.